good morning students today's topic will be on asia tourism asia as you all know is the largest continent in the world with so much to see and do on the massive asian continent even the top 10 destinations do not adequately represent the continent's diversity as it has been already said asia is the largest continent in the world first of all let us talk about the taj mahal at agra Built in the 17th century in memory of his beloved late wife, Emperor Shah Jahan created the Taj Mahal, now considered to be one of the seven wonders of the world and one of India's major tourist destinations. The white marble mausoleum, encrusted with precious gems and Quranic verses laid out in flower patterns, took 22 years to construct and still attracts lovers and dreamers from all over the world. Captivated by the romance of the building just as much as the heartbroken husband who had built it in loving memory of his wife Mumtaz Mahal. And the task of completing the Taj Mahal was entrusted upon an excellent artistic machinery of the time, Isha Khan, who had hailed from, who hailed from Iran. Next, we talk about Bali in Indonesia. For those who want to enjoy island living, Bali is a top tourist destination in Asia. A mountain chain with several active peaks cuts across the island from east to west, dividing the landscape into steep slopes in the north, lush plains tumbling down the backside of the mountains into the center of the island and sandy beaches in the south. As the most popular island in Indonesia, the Balinese have taught many tourists the local concept of Tri Hita Karana, which unites God with humans and nature in a Trinitarian philosophy. Trinitarian philosophy. Next, we talk about Bangkok in Thailand, which is the, one of the most happening cities in the world based on nightlife. Based on a study of international air arrivals conducted by MasterCard, Bangkok happens to be the top, top tourist destination in Asia with 11.5 million visitors arriving annually. Sunny beaches, shiny beaches, ancient temples, intense nightlife and a thriving modern city make Bangkok a great first destination for western travelers. Sunny beaches, ancient temples, intense nightlife, and a thriving modern city. However, it is visitors from nearby Singapore and Hong Kong, as well as Tokyo, who make up the largest share of international visitors to the city, according to the study. Hong Kong Hong Kong is the latest winner of TripAdvisor's Best Asian Destination Traveler's Choice Award. It is a city known for its culinary delights, massive skyscrapers, and modern structure and infrastructure. It is also home to Hong Kong Disneyland, but it is the Victoria Peak, the highest point in the city, which rises 1,010 feet, which tops the tourist destination list and receives more than 9 million visitors annually. Next comes Angkor Wat in Cambodia, which is one of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Still a bit of the mainstream tourist map, Sim Reap continues to grow as tourists flock to the ancient temples of Angkor Archaeological Park. From the 9th to the 15th century, kings of ancient Cambodia participated in an extensive building campaign that, 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 resulted, that resulted in hundreds of temples dedicated to Hindu and Buddhist deities. The temples, half hidden in the jungle, growing up alongside them, were rediscovered in the early 1900s by French archaeologists. Now the UNESCO World Heritage Sites are also on the top of many tourist lists. Sim Reap ranked third in TripAdvisor's list of top Asian travel destinations. Next comes Singapore. Known for its pristine streets and upstanding character, thanks to strict government regulations, Singapore is sometimes taken for granted by tourists who see the modern sparkling city as just a stopover on the way to another destination. With a trip into the city to discover the world-class shopping, 
ethnic neighborhoods and the original Raffles Hotel, a person will soon come to know that it is not just convenient flight time that makes Singapore a top tourist destination. Finally, I would like to conclude that Asia is such a big continent that the tourism list encompassing it is endless and until and unless one actually goes to visit the place and feel its pulse, it's not possible at all to actually realize and accentuate the gravity of the tourism potential and prospects hidden in the treasures of this massive continent. Thank you.